Could this British greenback loaded cabinet pack be the last thing you'd ever need for that essential classic rock sound? Let's find out and let's start by taking a listen to my Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s through the Wong's 1987 HW 50-watt Plexi. Check it out. that sounded great very classic vintage and round love it that wong's amplifier is pretty cool by the way it's a hand-built hand-wired plexi clone basically 50 watts with el34s in the power section a non master volume amp i should use it more often it does have that classic and raw plexi bite but with a bit more body than my marshall mini plexi for example Anyway, so that was my Gibson Les Paul Standard 60s with the Seymour Duncan JB pickup in the bridge, through the amplifier, through my Red 7 amplification amp central reactive load. That amplifier is absolutely slamming that load with that non-master volume, very loud tone. And then into an IR from this new wonderful Ownhammer Essentials Classic Rock Pack, which is what this video is all about. And in my opinion, this is basically that ultimate green back loaded British 4x12 cabinet sound that everybody should have in their arsenal. According to the Ownhammer website, it's captured in a way as to channel that vibe from rock guitar cabinets from the 1960s to the early 1980s. So it sounds roomy, smoky, old, and it has a lot of character and I'm all for it. Now this pack is very well balanced overall tonally, so any player should be able to get a great tone out of this pack, whether you're using a real amplifier as I did in the intro track or a digital modeling platform. The Ownhammer Essentials packs are all about getting great tone with very little effort, but there are also options to go a little bit deeper if you so desire. So very easy to use, but then also very versatile. So when you open the pack, as per usual, you can choose between four different sample rates. And then in the main folder, there are 10 single mic options to choose from, like a 57, for example, or a 121 or a 421, etc. And all those single mics have been captured at the absolute sweet spot. So very well balanced indeed. Just load them into your IR loader and boom, you're done. No additional tweaking is required. And also there's no need to browse through endless IRs because the hard work of picking the most balanced files has been done for you already. The same goes for the 10 main mic blends in that same folder. Those are also very well balanced. The names are just suggestions basically, but they should work really well for any genre. We have mixes like balanced, low, mid and high gain, etc. So finding a mic blend for you should be effortless basically. Now Ownhammer is aware that some players like a little bit more versatility. They like to go a little bit deeper and explore more. And that is why the Revolution Mixes folder is included. And this folder contains a great collection of additional mic blends or mixes that have been named in such a way so that you can find a mix that works for you very fast. You know, with names like classic, heavy, forward, modern, etc. Now there's also the mic pair mixes folder. 
This folder contains mic blend folders for each available microphone. And it basically has all the possible dual mic combinations that you can get with the 10 included mics. So there's basically no need to create your own mic blends. Not that that's not possible. Of course, you could do that. But you can also just go to this folder and grab a quick mic blend and be done with it. OK, now let's explore some more tones. In the intro, you heard this IR pack with a real amplifier and a load. And now I want to try a digital modeling platform. And my platform of choice this time is the Line 6 Helix, Helix native to be precise. And I'm going to try some of the newly released Line 6 original amplifiers from the 3.7 update. Starting with the Line 6 Aristocrat amplifier, which is great for edge of breakup tones. In the IR block, I'm using the low gain mic mix. And the guitar that I'm using is my Gibson Les Paul Custom. And I am using some effects here and there, like a delay and a chorus in the outro. OK, let's go ahead and take a listen. Check it out. That sounded really good. So digital gear can really sound like an analog rig these days. And I love it. Now I want to try another amplifier for a bit more of a cleaner tone. Again, using my Gibson Les Paul Custom, but this time on the neck pickup. And I found that the Line 6 voltage amplifier is just great for clean tones or also edge of breakup tones. And this time in the IR block, I'm loading the balanced mix. OK, check it out. All right, so all the tones in this demo have been excellent, and the new Ownhammer Essentials Classic Rock Pack has played a huge part in that. I really think this pack is wonderful, and if you're into that classic rock sound, you know, a 4x12 British cabinet with greenbacks, this pack should definitely be on your radar. And it's also very affordable, and I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Do note that this video was sponsored, but as always, all thoughts and opinions are 100% my own. 
That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like and subscribe down below. And also let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this pack. Thank you guys so much. You can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook and Instagram, by the way. See you soon. Cheers.